In this video we're going to see how to use the ideal gas equation and in particular how to choose the value of R to use. Now the ideal gas equation relates the pressure, the volume, the number of moles and the temperature of a gas and all R is is this the proportionality constant or the gas constant. The universal gas constant has a value of 8.314 joules per mole per kelvin but people use lots of different units for pressure and volume and so sometimes this value has to change. There are lots of different units used for pressure. The SI unit is the Pascal. Atmospheric pressure is 1.01325 times 10 to the 5 Pascals. This is a pretty awkward value to have to use. So often people use the atmosphere. Atmospheric pressure is nicely one atmosphere. So this is a really convenient value to use when we're talking about things at or near atmospheric pressure. There are other units that people use as well, such as millimetres of mercury. Literally, how many millimetres high a mercury barometer would be. Or you might see on your car tyres, pounds per square inch, PSI. So although the SI unit is the Pascal, the most convenient unit is often the atmosphere. So let's look at how R arises. So R is 8.314 joules per mole per kelvin. Now this is energy units. So energy is force times distance. Energy in joules equals force in newtons times distance in meters. Pressure in pascals is the force divided by area. So pascals is newtons per meter squared. If we relate those two things, we can see that the pascal times meter cubed is the same as joules. So the gas constant 8.314 joules per moles per kelvin is exactly the same as 8.314 pascal meter cubed per mole per kelvin. Now often we don't measure things in meter cubed. A meter cubed is massive, it's a thousand litres, so a litre is a thousandth of a meter cubed. That's much more convenient to measure things in than a meter cubed. So a litre is a thousandth of a meter cubed. So if we use kilopascals, which were a thousand pascals, a kilopascal times a litre is the same as a pascal times a metre cubed. And that's really convenient because R now becomes also 8.314 kilopascal litre moles to the minus one, kelvins to the minus one. So if we're using litres and kilopascals, we can still use the value 8.314. Well, what about if volume is in litres and pressure in atmospheres, which we said was much more convenient to use? Well, let's do an example calculation. At zero degrees C, that's a temperature of 273.15, and a pressure of one atmosphere, P equals one atmosphere, one mole of a gas, N equals one, has a volume of 22.414 litres. Now, we can use the ideal gas equation to work out the value of R. PV equals NRT, so R is PV upon NT. Pressure times volume is 1 atmosphere times 22.414 litres and we're going to divide through by NT 1 mole times 273.15 Kelvin and we work out that R is 0 0.08206 litres atmospheres moles to the minus 1 Kelvin. So on your data sheet you will see two values given for R. If you're using SI units perhaps you're using pressure in pascals and volume in metres cubed or you're doing calculations using R when you've got joules involved, then you'll always pick 8.314 joules per mole per kelvin, knowing that's the same as 8.314 pascal meter cubed per mole per kelvin, or kilopascal litre per mole per kelvin. But if you get given values in atmospheres and litres, then you want to use the second value. You want to use R equals 0 0.08206 atmosphere litre per mole per kelvin. Pick the value you use and you don't have to do any conversions of pressure units. So let's do a quick example. The lung capacity of an average human being born and living at sea level is about 6 litres. How many moles of air will be present in a diver's lungs at 25 degrees C and 2 atmospheres? So in the question we've got volume in litres, 6, and we've got pressure in atmospheres, 2. So we're naturally going to choose to use R equals 0 0.08206 atmosphere litre moles to the minus 1, kelvins to the minus 1. PV equals nRT, so the number of moles is PV upon RT. Put our values in, 
pressure times volume is 2 times 6. R, we've chosen the right value of 0 0.08206. Temperature, 25 degrees, is the same as 298 Kelvin. And we work out there's about half a mole in the average person's lungs at that depth. OK, so we can choose which value of R to use. But actually, often we can get away without using the full ideal gas equation, making our calculations much more simple and not even having to choose the value of R. Often we only change one thing. We keep other things constant. So let's change only the pressure or the volume and assume that the number of moles and the temperature do not change. So we start out with an initial volume of our gas, V1, and an initial pressure of our gas, P1. Then from the ideal gas equation, P1 times V1 equals nRT. And we end up at a different volume and a different pressure. So the final volume is V2, and the final pressure is P2. So equally, P2 times V2 equals nRT. It's the same gas, though. It's the same number of moles. It's the same temperature. So nRT is the same. So that must be that P1 times V1 is the same as P2 times V2. And there's no value of R there, and there's no value of N there, and there's no value of T there, because they're all constant. So one final calculation. A balloon occupies a volume of 6 litres at a pressure of 1 atmosphere. What volume would it occupy at a pressure of 2 atmospheres, assuming no change in temperature? So the balloon's sealed, so the number of moles is constant, and we get told that the temperature is constant. So the initial volume is 6 litres, and the initial pressure is 1 atmosphere. The final pressure is 2 atmospheres. What's the final volume? P1 times V1 equals P2 times V2. The initial pressure is 1 atmosphere. The initial volume is 6 litres. The final pressure is 2 atmosphere. And we don't know what the final volume is. 1 atmosphere times 6 litres is the same as 2 atmospheres times V2. And hopefully you can see that the final volume must be 3 litres.